G'day Headbangers and welcome to Dozel's Metalworks. Welcome back, my fellow metalheads, to another edition of Dozel Metalworks. Now, this week will be an interesting one. Of course, Rex, Sexy Rexy, as we like to, as we all know him as, uh, suggested a while ago that I should try and do 70s. Went well. Granted, I was born in 74. Uh, so to me, the slim pickings with a lot of bands and albums back in that day. But uh, I've decided, after a bit of research and looking around, I can do the years of 1978 and 1979. So, we'll start off with 1978. Okay, so here we are with 1978. Start off with number five, we have Jazz by none other than Queen. Gotta love Queen. Uh, so, yeah, top three tracks for that for me was uh, Don't Stop Me Now. I actually didn't get into that song till a bit later on in life, but oh, when I discovered it, banger of a track. Uh, Fat Bottom Girls, that's been around for a while. And Bicycle Race, which I thought was always a very interesting song, because um, he likes to ride his bicycle. Okay, number four, we have Power Rage by none other than ACDC, Akadaka. So for this album, we have Up To My Neck In You, Riff Raff, and Give Me A Bullet. So I only listened to that album for the first time, or second time during the week, so that was interesting. Uh, next we have Killing Machine by Judas Priest, uh, which was in some other countries as a re-release at the later date or something like that it was actually called Hellbent for Leather uh, but yeah you see I've got Killing Machine here I have all the Judas Priest albums on CD uh, but definitely the number one track for me for that one has always been Hellbent for Leather fantastic uh, delivering the goods and um, the Fleetwood Mac cover the green Manalishi with the two pronged tongue so yeah, that was pretty sweet. And then the next one, we have Stained Class, also by Judas Priest. The fact that they released two albums in the same year was pretty freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, track number one for me for this one was Exciter. Then Better Than You, uh, Better By, sorry, Better By You, Better Than Me. Uh, and then number three was Beyond the Realms of Death. And number one, uh, which was always going to be here and was always going to be a pick of probably 70, top 70s albums to be honest, is Van Halen's very first album, their self-titled one. Uh, now this one was harder to pick than a broken nose for my favourite tracks because the whole album's an absolute <laughs> banger. Um, but I'll probably say Running with the Devil is at number one. Uh, Atomic Punk at number two. Uh, now the third one is sort of a one song that leads into another, which was Eruption, that leads into the song You Really Got Me. Uh, very special honourable mention though to Jamie's Crime. That's pretty good. And Ice Cream Man's kind of weird as well, but really, really good. Anyway, that's 19, my top five hours from 1978. Now we move on to 1979. Okay, so for 1979, we will start off with number five, Love Hunter by Whitesnake. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I had to listen to this one for the first time, but you've got Love Hunter at number one. Uh, number two was Walking Into the Shadows of the Blues, really good track there. And uh, We Wish You Well. Which is a very beautiful ballad, actually, having listened to that one. It was really, really good. So, yeah. Now, moving on to number four, we have uh, Overkill by Motorhead. So, yeah, that was the first time listening to this album, and it's actually not too bad, because I've never really been into Motorhead that much. Um, but listening to this album to give it a go, and yeah, it was pretty good. So, number one, we have Overkill. 
Number two, we have Capricorn. And number three, we have Lim from Lim. So it actually wasn't a bad album actually listening to it. So Motorhead is one band that I've sort of never really got into but should try and get into. But yeah, there you go with that one. Okay, number three, we have Dynasty by Kiss. Now, a lot of people say Kiss is overrated. Some people are not, you know, to me, uh, they're not bad. They're always marketed well. They put their merchandise, you know, slap their face on just about everything. Uh, probably Kiss still there out there somewhere. But uh, anyway, so number one, obviously my all-time favorite Kiss track, uh, I Was Made For Loving You. Uh, number two, Sure Know Something. And uh, number three, a Magic Touch. Uh, probably more than most well known albums, I guess, for that one. But yeah. Alright, number two, we have Van Halen 2 by Van Halen. Uh, it's probably one of their least better albums, but I own all the Van Halen albums on CD, so you know. <clears throat> uh, we're probably looking at uh, Dance and Idaway at number one. Uh, DOA at number two, and Beautiful Girls at number three. So yeah, but that's Halo for you, what can you do? Okay, so at number one, we have Highway to Hell by ACDC. Yes, another Akadaka album, boys and girls. Obviously the title track, Highway to Hell, is my number one. Uh, number two is Girls Got Rhythm. And number three, if you want blood, you got it. So yeah, probably one of their most well-known albums, popular albums, and definitely one of their most well-known songs. But uh, anyway, that is my pick for top five albums of 1978 and 79. Thank you for Rexy for suggesting to do some 70s. Actually, you thought it'd be harder than it was, but anyway, there it is. It's all done. Anyway, until next week, my fellow metalheads, rock on.